Hi everyone, um, my name is Tasnika Guru. Um, apologies for not being there, um, you know, in person um, or in the virtual room. Um, so I am a chemical engineer. Um, I graduated in 2018 from the University of Cape Town. Um, and I'm currently working in the oil and gas industry um, at BP Southern Africa. Um, currently based in Johannesburg and so I'm working there as a chemical engineering graduate um, and I've been in the supply operations role um, or a team rather and um, as well as the refining team and so I've seen both the refining op um, operations um, the very technical area um, um, you know, and the teams and how um, they work, as well as um, the business side of things. And so, you know, the business and the, the, the strategic decisions that are made. Um, and so my day to day um, role involves um, dealing, um, you know, on one side with customers and products and, um, you know, safety issues um product quality um and, and then on the other side dealing with the refining um or refinery operations the units um ensuring the refinery is running um as, as efficiently as it can um troubleshooting where possible as well as looking ahead um as um you know what type of crudes we can buy or should be buying what the market is like and so it's a very dynamic environment um, there's a lot of inputs, a lot of stakeholders, um, and so some of the skills I've learned, um, you know, n from varsity, um, and not just um, the technical skills, but um, a lot of the soft skills, um, communication, teamwork, um, empathy, um, and so, you know, one thinks of those skills as, you, you know, being very common um, and not understanding what they entail, but, you know, going into the workplace, I've realized that, um, you know, what exactly is needed, how to put it into practice. Um, I am currently doing my master's um, at WITS um, in industrial uh, engineering. And so I'm specifically um, looking at the supply chains and the oil and gas industry and how the changes um, in that industry are happening towards more, um, you know, efficient uh, energy sources um, becoming more sustainable. Um, and so I realized what drove me to do my master's is that there is a lot of change required in the space um based on my experience um and it's a space and an industry that really needs to change because it impacts everybody and the entire world so vastly um and so if i can you know contribute even a little bit to understanding it better um that's what i i want to achieve um i left varsity or I finished my final year varsity and went straight into the working world um so my final year there was you know finding jobs um or finding positions that would take grad uh you know students straight out of varsity with no experience um or little to no experience was very difficult and so getting my foot in via um, a graduate uh, program seemed like a decent um, option. And so the application process was quite tough, quite tedious, um, but, you know, perseverance pays off. And so um, even though I was applying and wanted to, to, you know, go into the working world, it was reasonable to also have a plan b and so um masters was on the table and so i pursued that option as well um and i then managed to land um, a graduate um position at bp um and so i've been there ever since um i it's been you know an amazing journey and i've learned so much um and you know just looking at some of the some of the questions um 
looking at my qualification and what the working world is like these days um it's a very tough um industry um as a whole for engineers um there's been a huge shift and a huge drive to more um digital um aspects um so fourth revolution full on um and so um you know acquiring or pursuing skills in that area is something i i would recommend uh, a budding engineer um to have and to look into and to invest um because it would give them more opportunities um out there um and then you know just lastly where i see myself in five years um so you know going back to the reason why i wanted to become an engineer um was to make an impact in the world and so um my five-year plan is aligned to that um actively making an impact be it um, in my studies be it in the workplace um be it in you know extra you know other activities um volunteer work or the likes and so you know understanding why you're doing something and why you want to do something helps especially in a tough climate um, it gives you continuous motivation and drive to keep going and so um i think that's what i would leave um you all with um understanding and knowing what your why is um certainly helps in the future thank you